bunting electrostatic separator. Uh, I'll start by opening the, uh, the door and showing the inside. Uh, what's the most important thing is uh, the door and machine should always be run with both the front door and the back door shut and the safety interlocks engaged. There is a risk of electrocution by putting your hand in here or a tool in here with the machine doors open. So if we start from the left to the right, uh, here we have the uh, vibratory feeder uh, and back there is also a gated hopper for feeding. The role of the feeder is to give us an even controlled feed, a mono layer to the, the roll itself. The feeder's flow rate is controlled by the control panel here. Down here we have a thermostatically controlled uh, heater. That's not to heat the feed as such, it is to keep a controlled relative humidity within the, uh, within the cabinet itself. So sometimes we would run it at a, a, a elevated temperature here to control the relative humidity, especially in damp atmospheres. Moving on to the roll itself, this is a stainless steel earth roll and what happens is when our conductors and insulators fall on here, the conductors will lose their charge immediately to the earth roll, will be thrown off by their natural trajectory of the roll, and the insulators will be pinned on the roll, come round here and uh, are separated. We control the roll speed by uh, controlling on the uh, control panel. Up here we have the electrode assembly, we have a tungsten wire electrode, it's adjusted via these uh, controls here. Normally we, we run it as far away from the roll as possible in these settings here, uh, and normally at an angle of about 45 degrees to the perpendicular. That allows us good coverage and charging of material as it falls off the vibratory feeder onto the roll surface. We would normally run this roll at between 20 and 25 kV on the control panel. It's attempting to turn it up higher than that, but what we don't want to happen um, when we're running the machine is for arcing the electrical discharge from the roll, from the, um, from the electrode to the roll surface to happen for two reasons. One, that's a spark and in a dusty atmosphere that can cause a potential explosion hazard. The second reason is whilst that spark is happening, uh, the, the, the voltage breaks down and effectively your machine is not working for that sort of the microsecond that that happens. So always run with the machine not sparking. It's very important both safety wise and also operational efficiency wise. And then the other control variable here are the splitter plates positions. What will happen is that as we put material onto the roll, the insulating fractions will be pinned to the roll by electrostatic charge and stick on the roll, come under past the splitter plate here and are discharged by the brush at the back. Our conductors like aluminium and copper lose their charge immediately and are thrown off by the centrifugal force 